functional programming. So it also has now safety. Um, Android usually has a lot of um, now checking littered around the code because of some unknown crash that you have. So you have no choice but to put some now checking there. So Kotlin is aimed at eliminating all now reference from the code. Basically, you will eliminate the now pointer exception. Except that if you explicitly throw the exception itself. It also has very small size compared to other um, other alternatives such as uh, Scala, Groovy, or Guava. Basically, it will help you in the 65k method things. Limit. And also a lot of more features. You can look at it at Kotlin length. Or, um, so why we talk about Kotlin is because Android currently only support Java 7. And Java really now is at version 10. There are a lot of much more better features that you can use. But then it may take forever for Android to catch up to Java 10. So Kotlin is a very attractive uh, option. Yeah, we are also looking at um, Reactive Java. Um, Reactive Java we talk in the talk in, after this, so I will just say some stuff that we are looking at. So currently we use uh, Volley for our networking requests. Um, Volley is good, but it's not really maintained anymore. So I'm looking at other options such as retrofit for more um, features. And retrofit support reactive Java, and yeah, so basically you can avoid like network callback hell. So you can make your kind of like do a multiple request and you wait for everything to come back at once. And reactive Java also can help in like database operation. It can break around like SQL Open Helper, and it will yeah. You know, notify you of the changes in the database. So, um, last but not least, um, we are hiring. So, yeah, there's a lot of exciting coming up for Android. So, if you or any of your friends are interested in work, working like some of the awesome stuff, then please do not hesitate to apply. Yeah. So, at the end of the QA. So, So basically, I just choose the device and then I run the run the Carousel, I push the Carousel to it, and it will run and it will give me all the test results. Like, does is there any crash or something? Yeah. So we will know that if it works or not. So far, any problems face using that? Uh, I don't really use it a lot. I only use it when there's like no way for me to debug what is going on. Like, why was a crash? So basically, you just help us in one of the instant. And uh, I think it's quite helpful also. Uh, do you use any on device caching for the application? Uh, what kind of cache? Uh, sorry? What kind of cache? Like uh, database inside the. Um, yeah, we use database and we use reference. So it's 
uh, SQL database. Ah, uh, yeah, SQL. And we, we use a uh, content provider. It's also actually quite a lot of boilerplate code in the content provider. But there's no choice because it's the, I think it's the fastest option. Yeah. Um, have you tried Umbrella? Um, the Sorry? What kind of Umbrella? R-E-A-L-L Yes Ah, yeah. I knew about it, but then I haven't really looked at it Yeah uh, How many percent of the users are still on gingerbread? Uh, I can't really tell from the... We don't really have any data on how many percent of gingerbread But then if you look at the Google dashboard um, Currently, there's now around 5% of the total devices that access Google Play yeah, around 5%. Okay. So we'll wait for that number to drop down. Okay, so you guys don't use any analytics to show what's your device segmentation uh, for the users? For us, we only use Flurry and Play Fabric yeah, for crash report. Yeah. Just wondering, uh, you guys are like supporting yeah. minimum SDK 10, so while trying to do all that uh, backporting and making sure everything works fine, how do you discover all the quirkiness of all the various API levels and fix it? Uh, again, it doesn't usually happen most of the time. It's only in some very rare cases that you have to take care of it. So basically what it means is that you have to, whenever you have a new feature, you should check against all different API levels. Yeah. Uh, actually, just a feedback. Personally, I find that the uh, uh, percentage of uh, API, uh, API 10, right, the number of users is based on international. So actually, you all should look at your target audience as that carousel the whole ecosystem, the number of users, what, uh, what API they are still using. That mm. will be a more accurate uh, number. Yeah. Uh, okay, mm. yeah, yes. thanks. Yeah, just, just to... Uh, Feedback on that. So the reason why I always ask this when I meet different startups or different developers is, so I sort of know like Carousel is uh, widely used in Singapore, maybe around the region. So I ask them like, what's how many percent is gingerbread? Because you don't get that from Google Pay. So yeah. that, that, that is interesting. Because sometimes we still receive uh, support emails from gingerbread device. So I just know that there are some people still use it. Yeah. If you guys can collect some data and publish that, they will be very... Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that in the future, yeah. 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 Thank you. So thank you, Carousel, uh, sponsor.